Merry Christmas, everyone. I hope you have an awesome holiday. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. My name's Justin. I am running for the king and I'm a part-time reseller. I work out of this shed here in my backyard when I'm not working my day job or my, you know, my youth pastorship. But I sell on eBay and Macari, Poshmark sometimes even. And this video is all about what is going on in the shed, what I'm selling. And this video is gonna run from Tuesday the 19th through Friday the 22nd, I guess. Is that right? 19, 20, 21, 20. Yeah, I think so. So it's Tuesday the 19th. It is cold in the shed. I got my sock hat on and I keep the heat way down when I'm not in here. And well, I just got in here. It's, it's kind of still early morning and well, I can't have the heater fan going when I'm filming. So I'm a little cold. I got a couple things going out. The first is a keychain. It actually just sold uh, right before I came out to the shed. Now it's not a ukulele. That's what's in this bag. It's right here. It's this paddle keychain. It's from Fast Times at Richmond High. Got this in a Zobie, Zobie uh, mystery box and it sold for $3.99 plus shipping. And I actually have a second one I got in a separate mystery box, but it has no keychain. So I never listed it. Well, it's a bonus. I'm throwing it in with that one. Back here in the same spot, uh, not to be outdone with the size of that order, I have a smaller one. It is a hat pin. I got it at a yard sale early in the season and it's hiding in here somewhere. Here it is. This one says martial arts. It's got a little karate guy chopping. I thought it was cool. I think I had one similar to this when I was a kid actually. And this one sold on offer $4 plus shipping. And I just wanted to hang out in this corner today. I have another pin. This one's a Zobie pin, so it's a little bit bigger. It sold for a little bit more than that uh, karate one. Here's all the Zobie pins I have left, and it is a Gremlins Christmas one. Oh, it's, uh, is this this one? I need 369, that's 523. Hopefully it's in here, oh goodness. Ah, huh. is that it? Yeah, 369, I think that's it. Uh, it is uh, Mowgli, and it's got the Gremlin making a wreath around it. I think it's a pretty cool pin. Uh, perfect for Christmas, I hope they get it before then. This sold $9.99 plus shipping. The last two items I have so far for the day are media and uh, I have a DVD and a book set going out. So DVD first, let's see, ah, it's right here. It's this one right here, it's Napoleon and Samantha. It's an old Disney movie, I never heard of it, but I picked it up at an estate sale. I probably paid 50 cents or something for it. It sold $8.99 plus shipping and it sold in less than two weeks. And the book set is right here. Uh, I listed it as four books. There's a fifth book attached to it because I had an extra book that I, you know, in a similar genre that I just uh, stuck in there. It's not going to affect the weight. These are all Agatha Christie writing as Mary Westmacott. Westmacott. Uh, so Agatha Christie, famous mystery author, but she wrote romance under a different name. These are four romance books written by Agatha Christie and then one by Mezo de la Roche. And so uh, I added that one. It wasn't even the listing. It's a bonus. And uh, they're going to get it as a early, late Christmas gift. It, I don't know, as a gift. Uh, those four books plus the bonus book sold for $4 plus shipping. And I would really like in the next year uh, to be able to raise my average selling price. But I kind of sell what I can find around here. I enjoy what I sell. I pick up stuff I enjoy. I pick up stuff I don't enjoy to uh, see my clothing death pile back there. But, uh, you know, I, I know there's money in that giant pile of clothing. I just hate listing it. Well, that is going to be it for today. So far, I guess if something else comes in this afternoon and I have time to get it out today, I will show you. It's still Tuesday. We're in the afternoon now. I've already went to the post office, but I have three more orders. Uh, I want to get them out. And I know you think you may be thinking another trip to the post office, but my post office is literally like three and a half blocks that way uh, from the shed. So it's not bad at all. Plus I have to go right by there on my way to my thrift store because my hometown thrift after four o'clock on Tuesdays is half off. And so we're definitely going to uh, hit that today too. So let me grab those new orders. I'll get them packed up and I'll drop them off on my way. The first up is a set of books and I got to dig them out. They're down here. They're for Lindsay Davis mystery novels. And I think they're like an ancient Greece kind of neat. Uh, I pick up these at my local thrift stores. They're anywhere from 10 to 20 cents. So at most I have you know, 80 cents into this set. It sold for $7.99 plus shipping. I have a CD in drawer five here going out and it's this one right here, Teenage Fan Club Grand Prix. Got this in the big buy. It's got a little tear in the plastic wrap, but I uh, 
you know, did note that in the listing and it sold on offer for $8.99 plus shipping. And then I sold a toboggan, sock hat, uh, whatever you want to call it. It's a hunting one. I, I think it's in this yellow tub. I'm going to dig it out. Give me just a sec. It's right here in this bag. It is a Huntsworth reverse floor for performance fleece beanie. And it's a camo on one side and blaze orange on the other. This sold for $6 free shipping. I've had this forever. I received an offer for five. I countered with eight. They countered with six and I took it. So it's going to cost like almost four bucks to ship this. It's lightweight, but it, that's going to be the bare minimum. So there's not going to be really any profit, but it moves it out of the store. And uh, I would say it gives me some space back, but it's very little space. And my watch beeped while ago while I was talking. I don't know if it was on camera or not, but I had an offer that I received an hour and a half ago or something. I accepted it and then poof, it was gone. Like I didn't get the ka the, uh, I could no longer get back into the offer. It said it was finalized, but not rejected. I thought I hit the wrong button or I thought maybe eBay was messed up and it looks like it was an eBay issue, but that beep meant that the cell did go finally through. And so that means I'll have four things to take to the post office and I'm looking like I'm searching for the item and it's not behind you. So it must be behind me. Let me find it. It is a Danbury mint bell ornament and I picked this up at a yard sale. I think I paid $3 for it. It is a Chicago Cubs bell and it's from 2004. It doesn't look like it's ever been used, but the box had some damage and uh, it's in really nice shape. It just it's a Cubs bell, unfortunately, but uh, someone wanted it and I received an offer for $14.45 plus shipping. I accepted. And so uh, I've had it listed a long time, but it finally sold. I'm happy and thankful for the sale. And it's super easy to pack because it's all in foam. It's not going to break or go anywhere. And I just need to stick it in a box. So four more items going out today. Thank you so much for hanging out there with me. I'm really trying to get a whatnot show rolling for maybe Thursday. And I think it's going to be plush. Um, and, uh, well, I'll let you know. I'll put a posting. You'll, it'll be gone by the time you see this. But um, anyway, I'm going to uh, work on that so we can get that rolling too. Thank you once again. I will see you tomorrow on Wednesday. Hey, everybody. Today is Wednesday. It is the 20th of December. We're inching closer to Christmas. I'm super excited. And I have quite a few orders. I thought last week was going to be slow. Definitely this week. But things have been steady, I guess. So let's jump ahead with the orders. The first one is on Macari, uh, and then the rest are all on eBay. I sold a set of glasses and I have them pre-boxed. I'm going to put them in another box, uh, but these are vintage University of Kentucky, like highball glasses, I think is how I had it listed. Let me look. Yeah. Highball glasses. And they say BP oil on the bottom of them. I had them listed at 30 free ship and took an offer of 20 free ship. So it's going to cost about 10 bucks to ship these probably depending on where the person lives. So there's a little bit of profit. I picked them up for a quarter. So a quarter for both. And uh, so quarter in 20 out minus shipping 10 out. So still not too bad. I think this next item is the fastest selling coffee mug I've ever had. Uh, I picked it up yesterday for 33 cents. They are three for a dollar at a local thrift. This says start a new day with magic chef. And on the back it says Norge. Uh, Norge was a factory in a local town that made magic chef appliances. It got bought out by Maytag years later and then closed probably 15 years ago. But uh, magic chef, uh, not around. I don't think anymore. I, I don't even remember them when I was growing up, but uh this I picked up for 33 cents. I listed it for $12.99 because uh, it's milk glass, anchor hawking, but it had some black marks in it. And it looks like it's in the glass. And so uh, $12.99, it sold in about 15 minutes. And so fastest selling coffee mug I've ever had, $12.99 plus shipping. I do have some media going out. The first is a set of books from the great courses and their math books. Uh, one is pre-calculus and trigonometry. And the other one is calculus. And so I lotted them together. They came out of my book death pile. I have 40 cents into them. They're 20 cents a piece. I remember picking these up. These sold for $15 plus shipping. I also have a set of CDs going out. They're in DVD boxes though. And I'm gonna have to find them. I think they may be down here. 
Give me just a second. Here they are. They are a set of Joseph Prince CDs. Uh, they're open. One has three and one has four uh, CDs in it. And I picked these up for maybe 50 cents, maybe a dollar a piece. And I uh, received an offer this morning for seven plus shipping. And I accepted. So these are going out. I haven't sold a dog item in a while. I'm slowly dwindling down to the, the last remnants. But uh, I have quite a few harnesses and I sold one. Let me grab it. It is right here. This is a Voyager adjustable step-in harness in a light blue. It's a size small. It sold for $8.99 plus shipping. Next up are some Hot Wheels. I picked up these five Hot Wheels in this bag at uh, that private pick state sale thing I went to a few weeks ago. And uh, they are all General Mills. They're all still individually sealed, but the, the plastic bags have some wear. And, uh, you know, so... You know, they're not, they're not perfect. I listed them accordingly and they're from 1997, I believe. Yeah, 97. And there's five of them. There was five in the set. These sold $9.99 plus shipping. The last item is an unlikely item that I probably shouldn't have picked up, but it sold and it's a plush. Well, it's a bean bag. It's not a tie beanie. It's a knockoff. Anyway, let me grab it. It's one of these Bambinos. This one is for Barry Bonds, and it's orange, still new with tags. It sold for $4.99 plus shipping. And those are the seven items I have going out today. Not too bad with less than a week till Christmas. Not anything huge dollar, and these probably aren't gifts, uh, but I'm happy for the sales. I'm going to get them out and to the post office before the truck leaves today to give them the best chance of getting there as quickly as possible. Thank you so much for hanging out there with me. I changed my mind on whatnot. And I'm going to do it tonight on Wednesday. So I put a post in my community tab and hopefully we'll get some people to show up. It's all plush. It should be fun. We will see how it goes and how much money I lose. I have no idea. Regardless, I'll see you tomorrow on Thursday. Hey, everybody. Today is Thursday. It is the 21st. The 21st, I think. Yeah, 21st of December. And the shed is all discombobulated. I did a whatnot auction last night. And so I moved all the stuff that's normally between my listing and shipping stations in the front half into the aisle. So I can't even get back to my bookshelf right now. And uh, I had a table set up here so I could do my, my whatnot auction and whatnot. And uh, I sold some things. I didn't make a lot of money, but I moved some plush. And a couple of you that watched the channel were on there last night. So thank you so much. Uh, if you came or if you purchased or whatnot, I do have some uh, big boxes going out and uh, that's shelf space I'm getting back, I guess, or uh, floor space or whatever. I did have some things that didn't sell. We had some things we didn't even run because no one was asking for it and I was pooped. I was at church all morning setting up for the youth Christmas party and then we had the youth Christmas party. Then I ran home and got on whatnot. So uh, anyway, I have a couple orders going out today, but I think today is the day we see sales slow down finally. And so I have two, two to show you. And uh, one of them, well, I, I think they're cool sales. So I, I'm happy to show you, even if they're not huge. Uh, the first is right here in this goldfish box, but it's it's not goldfish. It's just a temporary box I'm using. So these are all Agatha Christie mystery murder books. And they're all just from a couple different series. And they're in uh, somewhat rough shape, but there's still a lot of love that can be uh, gotten out of these books. Picked them up for probably 20 cents a piece, maybe, maybe less. I got a whole truckload or trunk load for about 90 bucks at an estate sale a couple weeks ago. Got these listed. I have another big set too that I listed, and these sold for $34 plus medium L shipping. And uh, there's 30 of them in here. So it's probably a really great deal for the person that bought them, and it's a really good deal for me too. So I'm happy for that sale. And it works out with my aisle being blocked uh, that I don't have anything on that side of the pile. The other item is right here too. And this is my second and last Sega Genesis controller. It's also for that uh, Sega Genesis Mini that came out a couple of years ago, and it's tested and working. I picked it up in Cincinnati at the flea market, and I already sold the console. I already sold the other controller. This is the last thing remaining. This sold $14.99 plus shipping. I paid $20 for the unit. And I think 
The console part sold for 40, I think. Uh, I have to look back. And both controllers sold for 15 each. So not too bad even after fees uh, for that pickup. And that's it. That's all I have. We may have some orders for tomorrow. Of course, if we do, I will share them and I'll be back. And I'm gonna get this repacked into a brown box, all these books, and also obviously the controller. My whatnot orders are already packed and ready to go to the post office. And I might have to borrow my wife's car because these might not fit in mine very easily. Either way, I'm going to get them there today. Thanks so much. I'll see you on Friday. Hey, everyone. Today is Friday, and it's the 22nd, 22nd of December. And, well, check it out. I got this up yesterday. It came in about a week ago or so, and I just finally was able to get it on the wall. I think it's awesome. But uh, I have three sales today. They're all on eBay. They're all media. They're all not going to make it before Christmas. Uh, medium, well, actually, I have had some medium mail shipments get faster than priority lately, but uh, it shouldn't. It probably won't make it to uh, the houses on before Christmas if they need it for that. So uh, anyway, I'm going to get it out as soon as possible regardless, and I'm looking for that DVD. I have a DVD. It's this DVD right here from the Little Mountain Reflections on Orthodox Christian uh, Monasticism and about monks and such. And I picked it up at my local thrift. I paid a dollar for it plus tax. It sold probably after like a year and a half or two years, $14.99 plus shipping. I have a CD out of that big CD buy going out. And so if you asked for an update on that, uh, the profit and whatnot, how I'm doing on it really well, but I slacked off on doing my booking, my book work. So let me get that updated. I'll try to have it next video. Let's see, ah, uh, no, that's not it. Where's it at? It's right here. It's Bing Crosby's White Christmas classic Christmas album. It's got Melly Kaliki Mock on it. Of course, White Christmas on it as well. This sold $7.99 plus shipping. And then I sold a book. It came out of my book death pile I listed a few weeks ago. I keep saying that. I'm actually sold quite a few of the books out of that pile. It's this book right here. It's Terry Brooks, The Heritage of Shauna Ra. It's four books in one. It's, this thing is massive. And uh, I'm gonna burrito book method this. So I'm gonna put it in plastic and then wrap it in cardboard and then stick it in a mailer. I may do bubble wrap, then cardboard, then a mailer or something like that. But it's gonna go burrito book method. I don't think I have a box that'll, it'll slide right into. So I think that's the way to go for that one. It sold for $9.99 plus shipping. And the reason that one was in my death pile is because I was considering keeping it. Those three orders are packed up and it's now Friday afternoon. It snuck up on us. I have two more orders. Let's grab those because I haven't went to the post office yet. The first is a game and I picked it up at my hometown thrift on half off day. I think I paid $1.50 for it and it's Wacky Wacky West. Uh, it's by the creators of Catan. I grabbed it without even looking it up and I thought, it, you know, Catan's huge. Maybe this one is... Uh, you know, worth a little bit. It ended up selling today on offer for $8.49 plus shipping. And then I sold that washer drain pump the other day and I said I had a second one. Well, second one sold. I think it's right here in this pink tub. It's right here. It's the same as the other one. It's for a Whirlpool KitchenAid Roper and Kenmore automatic washer. It's a washer drain pump. It sold for $9.99 plus shipping. Adding those two items makes five for the day, and that's going to be it for today and for the video. If anything else comes in late tonight, early tomorrow, I may ship tomorrow, but uh, I'm not going to be filming tomorrow. Uh, it's going to be a family day, and I want to get this video published before Christmas so I can say Merry Christmas to you all. I hope you all have a blessed holiday with family and friends and those you love. And uh, just, uh, I mean, it's that time of season where uh, God gave us that gift, that gift of Jesus. And so uh, it's it's an awesome time of the year. I hope you enjoy it. Hopefully it's not too cold or snowy or rainy or whatever. Uh, we're going to have a wet Christmas, I think, here. It's going to rain. But uh, that's the way it goes. That's not what's important. Um, and, you know, even even sales and stuff is, is nothing compared to the gift we were given. So thank you so much. I hope you have an awesome holiday, uh, awesome uh, Christmas season. A great day, and God bless.